change. We just didn't finish plays or we turned the ball over a little bit. Going over there on the right. Of the chances you have had to win, does one sting any more than the others? The chances we had to win, for instance, the West Poland's Virginia. Poland's layup or, oh, or plays. 16 seconds. Yeah, it, yeah, Poland, Poland should have finished that layup. I mean, he's point blank all by himself. Uh, he makes it game over. Game's over. It's done. And he's normally a highlight, really. Normally dunks it, and you know the fans go crazy on plays like that. And I don't know if he didn't have his footing or was just so focused on catching the ball that he lost sight of the rim. But you know he's 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 been a a guy that's made huge plays for us. Uh, you know he basically took over the second half of our Louisville game and won that game at Louisville, which is a huge win for us. Uh, he made some big plays when we beat Cincinnati, another you know top type of team. So, you know, he's had the games where he's delivered. It's just tonight wasn't his night. All the way up in the ring. My question. Okay. Great. Stan, overall coming in, you got a win here. You won two of your last three. Do, do you feel good about things, or how hard are these next three days for you now? Oh, I, I'll be on. I won't sleep. You know, I, you want to hear your name called on, on Sunday at 6. Um, you know, I, I think we've done, I think we've done a great job of putting ourselves in a great position. I think our team is worthy, uh, but you know there, there's some people that have a lot of information that make wise decisions, and uh, we'll you know let the, our case rest with them. Back on the right, Coach Anthony Collins got hurt a couple fingers yeah. in the second half. How do you think that affected throughout the rest of the game? I think it affected him big time. I, you know he he really it looked bad. I mean uh, the finger was really disjointed, and uh, uh, you know they I don't know if they popped it back or what they did, but they taped it up and. I can tell he, you know, normally he goes and gets the ball, uh, and, and, and in those situations he's going to get some free throws, and so the ball didn't get in his hands in the later part. Of, I don't know, we were, it was a, I think we were up, and he didn't get the ball, and, and normally he's a guy that cashes in on those free throws, and uh, I, I think I think he was a little bit worried about how he can handle the ball with his fingers bobbing it. Yeah, second. Stan, now uh, when you're putting together a team with this kind of defensive intensity, is there something when you're in the recruiting process where you're looking for guys that will buy into that? Is it, is well, it, that we didn't kind of build our team that way. I, mean, I always want to be a, a good defensive team. Um, we actually played early in the season with more of an offensive line, and it, it was okay. But I just felt as time went on, we had to become better defensively. And we went with a lot more length. Uh, we went with a lot more physicality with uh, uh, both Anderson and Gilchrist together, Rudd and Robertson. And, and probably in some ways, it probably has cost us a little bit with maybe shooting and ball handling. But as time has gone on, I think guys have improved in some of those areas. And I thought tonight we did a good job of kind of playing within ourselves, playing our roles. And, uh, you know, this is Vic's first year, really, of college basketball. and. He's oozing with talent. I think you saw, you know, what his upside can be like and how, how well he played. Um, you know, we've got Anthony Collins, a freshman point guard out there running the show. Uh, and, and for some, you know, for some of these guys, it's kind of their first taste of a Big East tournament and what it's really like. Uh, so I, I think this team has versatility. I think it has toughness. And I think it's a team that, uh, you know, is learning how to develop itself offensively. And, um, you know, it's, it's, we've got, uh, some other parts that uh, probably can use a little bit more. Noriega is a terrific shooter that I haven't really used, and he can help <coughs> us offensively even more. And, uh, you know, Gilchrist, is, he shows you those flashes, and when he's consistent, it makes us a different team when he's consistent around that post. Last question, Brandon. Stan, uh, I know you guys like and relish you know, making the game ugly and dirty, but is there a point where, you know, maybe the game gets away from you in an ugly sense where you almost can't get it back the other way? Well, that's. Ugly is in the, the, the eye of the beholder. I think it's, I love the way we play. I don't have a problem. I like to, you know, maybe get a little more transition baskets and, um, you know, get a little bit more penetration and kick and some things like that. But I have no problems. I don't apologize at all for how hard my guys defend. I'm proud of it. I think there's probably 90% of the coaches that would love to do the same thing. So there's there's no, no apologies. And, and I, and I think it's wrong that I, it's almost like I have to come up here and apologize for the way we play. It's, it's won 20 games, 12 in the Big East, and, you know, got to the quarterfinals. 
you know, that's, you know, I, I don't understand that at all. I mean, that just baffles me. But, um, you know, I, I think what we've learned is valuing possessions and defending give you a chance uh, to win. And whenever we cut down our turnovers, it gives us a chance to win even at a higher level. And I think you saw a little bit of that tonight.